Welcome to another installment of Five Minute Tones. I hope you're all fantastic. Today we're going to check out the Dizzy V4 Silver 2, the second channel of the Diesel VH4 on the Axe FX3. I have the latest beta firmware, which you can grab from the forum. And I just kind of want to show you my dialing in process for an app that I've never really played around with either on the Axe or in the real world. I have tried out a diesel Einstein before. That's the closest I've got to a real VH4. Uh, but yeah, we're just kind of going to pick it up from here and I'll just use my ears and enjoy what's going on. I'm using my Les Paul in drop D and I guess one of the most influential factors on the tone you're going to get is the cab choice. I've gone with one of my own cabs and I have the preamp low cut and high cut at 80 hertz and 8K. So let's just hear this at the stock settings. And the first thing I tweak with high gain amps is always a master volume. So let's check it out. <laughs> So that's kind of interesting on a lot of high gain amps, turning down the master is going to tighten things up, but on the VH4 there's a lot of headroom on there. So I bought it up and it starts to add some awesome power amp character, which I really, really like. This particular amp in the real world has like a reputation of being a high gain filth monster, but this to me sounds like a really, really tight and articulate Marshall at the moment. I would like some more drive, maybe a little less treble and just a little bit more bass. Let's check it out. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. It's, like I said, kind of like a super tight, more modern sounding Marshall, which I don't think I would naturally associate with diesel. Probably for me, the most important advanced tweak I like to do is go to the speaker tab and select a different speaker impedance curve. I actually find with this one, my normal go-to is a 4x12 5153, but I kind of like the 4x12 Recto straight with this amp. Check it out. <laughs> The next one I like to tweak is the speaker compression. I like to turn that up to about three. Check out the difference. <laughs> So that's basically like a feel control for what I like. And one last little tweak might be if I was going for a lead thing to add a preamp boost, maybe the, let's try the shred boost. This is a new one, check it out. <laughs> Even though I've never actually used one of these real amps or really played around with this model, uh, I'm pretty impressed. I'm really digging that tone as a, you know, I would consider that a mid gain tone. That's definitely high gain to most reasonable people though. So uh, let's call it a really articulate high gain tone with 
lots of lovely definition in there and yeah just kind of doing what you would do in a real amp find the sweet spot on the master tweak the eq controls on the gain and then you know play around with some advanced stuff like the speaker compression and the speaker impedance curves it's a pretty darn glorious as always, if you have any specific questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you have any other requests for future 5-Minute Tones videos, let me know. You can get this beta firmware from the Fractal Forum. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.